Capirotada, a Mexican bread pudding commonly made during the Lenten season. The basic ingredients consist of bolillos or French rolls. I'll be using four rolls for this recipe. 12 ounces of piloncillo, four cinnamon sticks, six whole cloves, Raisins, I'll be using one cup for this dish. Shredded longhorn or Colby cheese, about three cups will be needed. Measure about four and a half cups of water and pour into a pot to make the syrup. Combine the piloncillo, cinnamon, and cloves. Melt some butter to brush over your slices of bread. Next, slice rolls about half inch thick and place them on a baking sheet. Brush the slices of bread with butter and flip them over and be sure to brush the opposite side. Next, bring the syrup mixture to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, remove from the heat and let steep. Preheat oven to 350 degrees. While syrup is steeping, toast the sliced bread for three to four minutes on each side. Pour syrup through a strainer and discard cinnamon sticks and cloves. Measure about one and a half cups of liquid. The slices are toasted. The syrup is ready. Now let's build the capirotada. Layer one third of the sliced bread, one third of the raisins, and one third of the cheese and then pour syrup evenly over all the ingredients. Wait 15 minutes and let first layer soak and then layer again. The basic ingredients carry a rich symbolism to the passion of Christ and many Mexican and Mexican American families consider this dish as a reminder of the suffering of Christ on Good Friday. The bread symbolizes the body of Christ, the syrup represents his blood, the raisins symbolize the nails used in his crucifixion, the whole cinnamon sticks represent the wood used for the cross, and the melted cheese signifies the holy shroud. Be patient and give each layer 15 minutes to soak. Top the final layer with the remaining raisins and cheese and pour remaining syrup. Cover the dish with aluminum foil that has been sprayed with nonstick spray and bake for 40 minutes. Cover and bake until cheese is golden brown about 10 to 15 minutes more. The making of this capirotada is a reminder of each bead of sweat formed in preparation is a story, a legacy of Spanish and Mexican culture. part when it's nice and hot out of the oven. So warm. Mm. <laughs> it's a big bite. <laughs> mm. So good.
so many good memories. Delicious.